All right, so here she is, the former UFC strawweight champion, Thug Rose Nama Yunus. Amazing what she was able to do against Ioana Yim. Jacek times two, another big spot for the 115-pounder here tonight. And John Poor, as impressive as that first young Jacek fight was, I believe the second one was even better because it showed the true evolution of Rose Nama Yunus. To be able to stand for 25 minutes and outstrike Ioana Yim Jacek was truly, truly something special. Initially, she was one of those fighters that was trying all kind of things and wasting actions. Right. But now, as she won the belt, you saw her really find herself, and it showed in the second Young Jacek fight. While drillers make killers and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman, she has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 12 wins, five losses. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, Fog Rose. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, two losses. She stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Manon, the beast, beyond! And with the attributes, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. All right, so round one is underway. Going to be very interesting to see how this fight plays out between one fighter who does everything well against the striking specialist on the other side. And the problem with being a striking specialist is that you have to be upright. When you're facing a full-on mixed martial artist, expect a level change. We're going to see what that... Whoa! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Oh, straight right. Thug Rose gets caught with that punch. Take more of these leg kicks. You will not be able to be very active on your feet. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, she did not miss a single. She's got one of the best arm bars in the business going for it now. And attack an arm bar. Oh, she slams into the crowd and with authority right there. So that's certainly one way to fend off the arm bar, lift your opponent up, and slam her to the ground. Well done. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Moore just transitioning so beautiful. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Back to the feet now. Again, in the place. Left hand touch with the clinch. 
Beautiful connection by her on that punch. She's so fast when she throws. And they separate. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Well-placed kick there by Rose Namajunas. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. There's no kill. That probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in the weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. All right, so a big round for her there as she makes her way back to the stool. There was the knockdown there in the middle of the round, DC. Talk us through it. She did a great job of really finding her spot, really recognizing an opportunity really getting to exactly where she needed to be to finish the fight. But don't think that this young lady will rush. She'll take her time, hopefully get there again to end the night. Okay, good. Drink some water. Ooh, relax, okay? Not a big deal. We've been knocked down before. It's okay. We're gonna get back up. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. Nice strike. Skates. She has to get moving. If she stays in front of her opponent, she's gonna take one more that's gonna end the night. Oh, straight right. Well, she's landed some good shots, but kind of point fighting a little bit, right? Nothing in terms of combinations. And that's the problem. When you start point fighting and you're jabbing, it's landing. If your opponent's landing more dominant strikes, you run the risk of the judge for Oh! Huge right! Just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So big, big knockout win for her here tonight. All right, we take a look back at some of the pictures from this one, and she had it all going on tonight, but certainly her boxing was on point. Her boxing always is what allows her to dictate the pace of fights. Finally, she landed the strike that ended the night of her opponent. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Fog Rose Nalayuna! Well, you see the raw emotions and the happiness out of her in her corner. What a result here tonight as she gets it done by knockout. I mean, she could not have imagined that it would go this well. I know she said it would happen, but when it does, I mean, it's joy. It's joy like nothing you've ever felt before. You don't expect it.